Welcome guys, this is P. Mother Morgan coming to you from Jasmine Infotech. Aliasing is an undesirable effect and it can be prevented by choosing the right sampling frequency. If our sampling frequency is twice high as maximum frequency in the input signal, then aliasing would not occur. Then what is the use of this anti-aliasing filter? Of course, it is going to avoid the aliasing. We are going to see in this section. We have already seen this typical DSP system. The first component is an anti-aliasing filter. Anti-aliasing filter is always a low pass filter. Why? Let's see that with one example. Consider an audio spectrum which is from 20 to 20 kilohertz. So we need to choose the sampling frequency of 40 kilohertz minimum to avoid aliasing. Okay, we have chosen the correct sampling frequency. Our signal is band limited. That means we know the lower and higher frequencies. So we have chosen the sampling frequency based on that higher frequency. But there will be case that some stray or unwanted signals, maybe the power line frequencies or local radio station frequencies are added to our original signal. Let's say for example, 40 kilohertz signal is added to our original signal, then what will happen? Definitely aliasing will occur if this component is not removed. We know aliasing will destroy our spectrum. Still, we can avoid aliasing by choosing the sampling frequency as 80 kilohertz. But it is not necessary because 40 kilohertz is a noise component. We know that. So what is the obvious solution? Put one low pass filter with cutoff frequency of 20 kilohertz and that will remove the component in fact all the components above 20 kilohertz. That's why we are always introducing low pass anti-aliasing filter in any DSP system. Okay guys we have seen what is the use of the anti-aliasing filter in this part. Thank you very much. I am P. Madan Morgan for Power DSP lessons. Meet you in another lesson. Until then bye bye.